Hey everyone, welcome to my channel 5 Minutes to Geek. I am Jack Karan. Today we will be discussing about the Raft algorithm. Raft algorithm is a popular algorithm which is used in uh, which is uh, basically a consensus algorithm. So whenever there are multiple nodes involved in a system, then uh, there is a master slave type of architecture and there needs to be a consensus between those uh, between those nodes. For example, we need to elect a leader. There should be a chain of command which needs to be followed. The data or the logs which are being logs as I would say the state of nodes which is being across the distributed no uh, distributed uh, system where there are multiple nodes which are capturing the partial state of uh, pa uh, partial state of our system so uh, 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 when there are multiple nodes which are capturing the state of our system the data needs to be in sync uh, there might be different version of data in each of the node but ultimately we need to decide what's the correct version so there is a consensus which needs to be done between the nodes for example electing a leader maybe um, uh, new nodes coming up uh, old nodes uh, getting crashed going down and uh, uh, the log sequence of write in our system application how the state is changed there is a, there should be a single source of truth in all the particular nodes so that type of consensus the to, uh, uh, in electing a leader in uh, finding out uh, what's the source of uh, source of truth uh, for a system change how the system is changing over time what's the new information coming in and how the new data is being written how the system is changing there should be a so single source of truth to come to that particular single source of truth there should be a consensus among the nodes which are uh, which are in a cluster so uh, then there this raft algorithm comes up before this raft algorithm there was some pascal algorithm but uh, it is being claimed that pascal algorithm is uh, very uh, difficult to understand so and uh, further more difficult to implement so there comes a new algorithm in place which we call a raft algorithm it uh, we call it a consensus algorithm it is used in multiple cluster uh, uh, um, uh, in when there is a cluster uh, uh, when we have a cluster of nodes and this algorithms come into play so it is used in kubernetes it's used in zookeeper and so on so uh, this is a uh, raft algorithm so raft algorithm come with one uh, strong uh, one point uh, which is actually different from uh, earlier pascal algorithm there are a couple of more but this is very strong point which they have put up that is a strong leader approach they simply said key we don't care what has been the uh, log of uh, what has been the state or what have been the source of truth in other nodes we only see what's the source of truth in the leader and that particular source of truth is a golden source of truth. The others, uh, other uh, nodes might not be in sync with the, that particular data. Those are known as follower. But the leader, we simply say the leader uh, is a source of truth. If some leader crashes, other leader comes up and uh, but that leader crashes and other leader comes up and the final leader which we have will contain the source of truth for how the system is changing. So it comes with a strong leader approach that um, uh, entry will be uh, um, the com chain of command will be from leader to follower. The data will be written from leader to follower. So a follower cannot say to leader, Ki, oh, hey, uh, can you uh, I have some particular data can you update your logs or can you update your state for that particular uh, data because someone came up and write the data on, uh, on me that can't happen only leader will say to follower there is a data change there is a state change please update the state uh, at your side the follower won't come to leader at any point of time to say Ki, hey there is a new data change and please write uh, replicate it at your side so it comes with a strong leader approach okay so uh, what could be the state of node so when we say the cluster comes up so we will simply assume that there are uh, uh, it will be a four or five uh, let's say odd number of uh, uh, nodes in a cluster and all those cluster uh, that that particular cluster comes up so there is no master there is no follower there is no leader there is no follower so what would happen each uh, at the start of time each cluster each node is actually a follower so there is a timeout 
they will wait ki someone le some leader would come and they are, we, they will start following it during a startup time but because everyone is a follower no one comes up and says ki hey i am a leader follow me so uh, the timeout start happening for example and this timeout is actually random for each node so it's not ki after x amount of time each node will uh, will have a timeout so it's a random amount of time which is happening so for this particular node it might be for example 50 millisecond this particular node it might be 70 milliseconds and so on so if uh, timeout happens then they uh, they say ki, okay if there is a no um, uh, leader is there so what would happen a candidate would come up they would become a candidate for leader so they will say ki, okay vote for me i want to be a leader so they will become a candidate for a leader and uh, they will uh, uh, that for example this becomes a candidate for a leader it will uh, send a request to every node hey uh, uh, choose me a leader choose me a leader vote for me vote for me vote for me and if these nodes say ki, okay i'll vote for you there is always all uh, uh, there is algorithm which uh, uh, it's a complex algorithm where they see ki, uh, uh, to vote in yes or no for that particular leader who is asking for vote the candidate who is asking for vote but yeah they will reply in yes okay i will vote for you or no i won't vote for you so if a majority of them vote for that particular uh, leader uh, that particular candidate it will be it will move uh, it will become a leader and it will uh, intimate everyone ki, hey i am a leader now follow me so it will uh, discover uh, so uh, what will it do it will say ki, okay now i am uh, i am a leader and it will inform every node in the cluster that i am a leader follow me and each follower will say okay we will start following you because you have been elected as leader so these are the three state of each node this could happen the leader crashes when the leader crashes again all will be followers again the same uh, same condition starts if a leader which the uh, it was a perfect system there was one leader there were four followers and what happens when leader crashes and there are four uh, there all the nodes are followers now again the timeout would happen one of them would become a candidate might be two of them would become a candidate at the same time because it's random might be it's 50 second other is 55 uh, millisecond so uh, within five millisecond it will also request for uh, its uh, it will uh, turn into a candidate and request for votes so it could happen this uh, 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 let's say five nodes were there one of them crashed so there are four nodes in a cluster now two voted for this two voted for this and it's uh, actually uh, it's a tie and no one could become a leader that could happen so there will be a new fresh elections but yeah so this is the uh, these are uh, so the, again the same procedure will go on followers will become candidate candidate will request for votes if the votes are in majority it will become a leader and it will inform every node in the cluster that i am a leader and they will start following it okay so how election look like so when we say okay uh, every election uh, has a term so uh, there is a term one, term one, term two, term three, term four, and so on. So if I see here, there is a term one where uh, election happens, uh, election happens, and everyone votes for a particular leader. So there is a normal operation happening. Leader crashes, a new fresh election happens, and this is known as a term two. Now uh, a leader is assigned, a normal operations happen, then a leader crashes again, and there is again. Um, uh, new election which happens and but the it results in no output because there is no majority for a, all the candidates available so that will end in a tie again a new election happens and uh, new terms term is incremented you see term one uh, term is incremented each time election happens no matter the leader is selected or not okay so this is how a election looks like now what happens when we see how the log entries actually look like uh, so if you see here is uh, uh, here is a leader log entry here is a follow log entries these uh, these four are followers one is leader if you see uh, with in every log there is actually a term so this is the first term 
now election uh, leader might have collapsed so this is not a leader from beginning this is a leader at the end so someone would have been out of these would have been a leader and let i think this was a leader and uh, or maybe this was a leader and uh, till uh, this was a first uh, term which happened then the lead, uh, new leader was elected so that uh, this is new term and this is the third term so each log which is created has this metadata key for which term it has be uh, this log is created for so it is uh, term one term two term three and so on it could have uh, we also have uh, index so uh, for uh, each log we also have index available and so if i say that for index six uh, in leader it belong to term three with the value this particular thing in um, in follower uh, uh, this particular there is uh, there is no uh, log for uh, one of the follower for index six in term three so this is how logs are the for with metadata you can actually go and map each of the log and uh, you can see key if uh, index and term matches uh, if i if uh, um, so th there is a special a speciality in the log if i would say for a particular logs of two nodes if index and term matches then all for all the preceding logs the index and term will match so if they are in sync for a current index and term then they will be in sync for all the preceding index and term this uh, 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 we will show ki how this is even uh, this uh, we come to this particular conclusion but this is the fact if you uh, it, uh, what uh, 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 what we would say ki uh, this algorithm bring into this plate into our plate okay okay possible followers of uh, possible followers state so there could be uh, uh, so uh, as i as we see uh, let's say ki this is a leader for term 8 uh, and these are the uh, these are the followers at that particular point of time if you will see in some followers the state could be missing the state is missing in some followers there could be extra state this is not in the leader right in some for uh, there there's also extra state which is not in the leader so it happens if a leader which has been elected might have uh, some entries which are not there in the followers and it could happen followers have some entries which are not there in the leader it could happen now there could also happen in the state of f uh, so uh, uh, as we can see key there has been completely new entry here and this completely new entry which are not there in the leader so these are the all possible uh, state of followers now how the leader election take place and uh, how this particular when we say key, uh, uh, how uh, how the leader election take place that's an important thing and when there is a difference between the followers and leader log how the how we say key, okay we will follow the leader log and the follower log will uh, the state of log uh, followers log will uh, be missed and will be uh, deleted so there will be a loss of data and so on and so forth that could happen but question is key, how the consistency of data is maintained so we will see in this particular slide key, how the leader election takes place and how the consistency of uh, uh, of data is maintained now when we save uh, a data uh, we always already know in a cluster system when there are five uh, five nodes and to data to persist and we say the data is actually persisted if it is uh, persisted in majority of nodes and we say data uh, data has been persisted but if data hasn't been persisted in majority of the node then we say the data is not committed right so the similar the similar uh, the similar technique is being used in leader election and uh, this particular uh, leader election so what uh, take a state a 
where we would say s1 is a s1 was a leader and uh, it uh, committed uh, uh, so uh, uh, it committed the value 1 in each of the node so what would happen take it uh, like this so there is a leader and there are followers let's say two followers are there so what would happen a request would come to a leader so leader what what would leader do okay before writing a log before uh, uh, creating an entry into its log it will send it to a follower it will not commit it so it will uh, send an entry one to the followers and entry one uh, follower f1 will say Ki, okay i have this entry i have uh, saved a uh, persisted this entry i have persisted this entry if majority of nodes says that they have persisted the entry the leader will also persist the entry or it will commit the entry i would say when the entry has been committed it will again send the event to the nodes and say okay apply this entry at your side so they will again go and apply the entry because leader has applied it or they will commit it as leader has committed it so what would happen the request come to the leader they uh, it will temporarily persist it uh, it will ask follower to persist it per follower will persist it and then uh, for leader will commit it uh, after majority of followers have persisted and then for followers after seeing the event that leader has committed they will also commit it so now so this is how the entry from leader to follower is uh, being persisted in uh, RAS, uh, raft algorithm now uh, the, uh, now for example s1 was a leader and it came with the entry one and it will ask of s2 s3 s4 and s5 to uh, persist this particular entry after persisting it it will say s1 key uh, they have persisted it so s1 will commit the entry so this entry has been committed now the entry 2 comes up and similarly s1 ask a follower to persist it however only s2 persisted it others didn't persisted it and s1 crashed s1 crashed now what would happen a new leader would be uh, would be brought up and now uh, how leader elections take place so let's say s5 and s2 both of them came up i want to be a leader this this has been crashed s1 uh, uh, s2 and s5 uh, both of them says ki i want to be a leader now what would happen s1 have only entry 1 s5 only have entry 1 s2 have entry 1 and 2 at this particular point of time s2 will say will ask s3 s2 will ask s3 please vote for me I want to be a leader and it will say my last entry is 2 my last entry is 2 for term 1 s3 will say I have last entry 1 for term 1 this is um, uh, so uh, th we have a difference in log right so s3 would never vote for s2 s5 ask for uh, s3 for vote s3 will see my logs and your logs are in sync so i will vote for you my log up till because every each node every node doesn't want to uh, modify its log so what they will do they want to vote for a leader which is closest to them which might have extra entries but up till the logs which they they have they want key there shouldn't be any modification in the logs which they need to do so what they will do they want to first vote for any leader who has the identical logs or any leader who has identical logs up till up till they uh, up till their max index so the more the closer the log follower has the more chances uh, the leader has the more chances for a follower to vote for it so s3 would vote for s5 similarly s4 won't vote for s2 it will vote for s5 so s5 has three votes one for from s3 one for s4 one for itself s2 have only a single vote so what would happen s5 will become a leader and when s5 become a leader it will say ki 
there is a new entry 3 which is coming up right and when you see s2 is uh, it was a candidate never became a leader s5 became a leader now s5 will enforce there is a new entry 3 which is coming and there is no entry of 2 so what s5 will do s5 will start enforcing its law its log to all its followers s4 and s3 will happily follow s2 need to follow it so it will remove 2 and will append 3 uh, append 3 because 3 is coming up in the leader so if we leave c and directly go to d this is how it will happen so this is how s5 will actually uh, remove the law modify the followers log because it's now a leader and who made the leader the majority made in the leader but if before crashing if s1 would have replicated to majority then s5 won't have won the election s2 would have won the election because they, uh, uh, there, there will be two nodes which will vote for yes and then the sequence would be something like this so this is uh, how the leader election works and uh, uh, basically any follower who will actually vote for the leader only if the logs are pretty much similar the more the closer the log the more they will vote for yes if there is a uh, if there is a, i would say a difference in log they will not vote for uh, uh, they will not vote for uh, the, uh, the leader as yes the candidate as their leader so uh, similarly the, uh, if uh, one is a leader it will start uh, so if one comes up here if you will see here from one to c to e one comes as a comes up again and becomes a leader then it will start enforcing for uh, its log to every follower so every follower needs to follow the leader so they will start modifying the logs they need to delete the logs they need to append new entries and so on and so forth so this is how leader election take place in Raft.